Hey, what's up everybody? Hungry Hussy here. Hey, welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, I appreciate you stopping by. Today on the show, what we're gonna do is some chicken wings on the Blackstone griddle. If you never thought about the Blackstone of being a chicken wing machine, well, I got another thing coming. It is. Today we're gonna do two chicken wing recipes. It's gonna be for sure gonna make your guests say, wow. Make your tailgate go, woo. It's gonna make you a griddle pimp, I guarantee it. Got our wings, all nice and pretty. What you wanna do is, I'm gonna take a napkin, paper towel, not my napkins. Come in here, you wanna get these things dry, all right? Get them nice and dry because the moisture will boil on the uh, blackstone, boil, whatever you wanna call it. People wanna make fun of me when I say boil. I'm Southern, all right? All right, we're gonna get these all seasoned up. Now, everybody say it with me. I'm gonna do some Mike Lowry's. Come in here. And the good thing about Mike Lowry's is he has a lot of stuff in here. So it's gonna come in here, mix these dudes up really, really good. Next, crucial, crucial point, a little bit of cornstarch. You just wanna get a good dusting. This helps create a little bit of a crust. Um, it helps dry stuff out uh, and it helps your sauce thicken kind of want to let them set out uh, in the fridge. It helps get them really, really dry. But guess what? Hussey didn't do that. <laughs> Feel free to add what you want. You want a little heat, add a little cayenne pepper. You want a little smokiness, maybe add some smoked paprika. Uh, I just went straight Mike Lowry's, okay? Cause I'm gangster like that. All right, now time for some serious business. What team are you on y'all? Are you blue cheese or are you ranch? Personally, I'm both. I cheat a little bit with my blue cheese. I don't always make blue cheese dressing, but, but because, because, let me tell you because. This Marzetti brand, they do pretty good. So I thought, you know, it's all right to kind of skate a little bit, all right? Don't hate, if you want to make it, mayonnaise, uh, Worcestershire sauce, uh, blue cheese, and uh, a little bit of buttermilk. That's pretty much it, a little, little pepper, a little salt. I really like this brand for blue cheese. I don't know why, but uh, hey. I do, I like what I like. Ranch, on the other hand, you cannot buy bottled ranch the taste like the ranch you want. So, here we are. If you use this, people's gonna be like, hey, the Hussies, them Johnsons, they got the good ranch, like the restaurant. So, one cup, buttermilk. Buttermilk, one cup, but make, do buttermilk. You gotta do buttermilk, Duke's mayonnaise. You gotta do Duke's mayonnaise. It's a state law, y'all. Wherever you're at, wherever state you're in, state law, Duke's Manning's. Some people's gonna talk trash, but this is what the restaurants use. This is why they say they got the good ranch, okay? I promise you, this is what they use. I was in a restaurant, we made tons of this stuff. One packet. Make sure you get that style, it's a restaurant style buttermilk, okay? And we're just gonna come in here with our whiz hickey. Now we got something to dip our chicken wing in. What I should have did while I was running my trap earlier, I should have been pre-warming our Blackstone. So let's do that. 378, so that's good. I'm just gonna make sure everything's on low for right now. Now, I'm gonna come in here with a little bit of avocado oil. Not a lot, not doing a lot of avocado oil because the skin, the chicken wing skin has a lot of, uh, a lot of oil, a lot of fat, and it's gonna render down some, so. I'll come in here, bring our, we'll put our flats up here, drums down here. I don't know why I like to cook them like that, but I do. So my convention is all out of whack now. It's okay. The OCD people in the world, they'll love me, I'm sure. I just wanna come in here, I just wanna make sure everything's just kinda, they got a nice contact patch, kinda press down on them. Uh, if you wanna put a sheet pan, some weights on it, you can. Uh, I'm not gonna do that, but. So let's say three, four minutes, we'll come back, okay? We're just gonna shut the lid and we're gonna let the lid just kinda do its thing. We'll start one of our sauces over here. And the sauce is gonna be the uh, the buffalo wing sauce. I like, this is my favorite. I like uh, Sweet Baby Ray's buffalo wing sauce. A lot of people like uh, Frank's, that's fine. Uh, use Frank's, but yeah, this is what I like. Let's go add a nice, 
There ain't much left. Next, we're going to add a little bit of honey, a little honey, a little honey. I like honey. I, like, I kind of like it. It's, it kind of balances out the tartness. Uh, add as little or as much as you want, or you don't have to add it at all. Then, a oh, half a stick of butter right there. You can do this. You can do this pot. You can just pan right onto your blackstone. But since we're, you know, we're covered, nice having this burner over here. Also, a little bit of pepper. The butter's melted. Uh, the honey's kind of incorporated with that. Uh, let's give it a try. Mm. It's tangy, a little bit of sweet. Also, the butter uh, kind of helps uh, bring it to kind of together. It gives it some body. So that's done. So far, let's see how these are going. I smell them. They smell amazing. That looks good. That looks good. I mean, look at that. I mean, look at that crust. That, that's that cornstarch helps kind of helps kind of do that because it's coated. For our other sauce, I'm going to do it straight onto the blackstone. So don't need a pot, don't need a pan. So people probably think like, if you're missing one, I want you to stay where you're at. For giggles, let's see where we're at temperature-wise. Yeah. I mean, this is already at 156 degrees. So let's go for another three to four minutes. Let's see where we're at. All right, so it's been a couple minutes. Let's see where we're at, folks. Another good looking side. Again, we're just kind of frying them up. And there's not a lot of oil, it's kind of just frying in its own fat. And so I'm at the bone on one of these one of these drums and we're at 149 degrees. Still got a little ways to go. At 160 there. But I'm 147. Well on our way, y'all. Well on our way. Now's a good time too, you know, because chicken wings aren't perfectly flat, they don't have a level playing field. Uh, so if you got a place like that, just kind of stick it on there like that, all right? Let's give it another three, four minutes. Let's come back, all right? Come back. All right, y'all, it's been a couple minutes. Um, one thing I did do, I actually cut these two burners off, so everything was off. Uh, temperatures kind of came down a little bit, so I'm just gonna refire those up leaving that metal burner down again. Uh, this is all about just temperature management, all right? We got some beautiful color on a lot of these. I mean, look at that. That's gonna, that's gonna hold flavor so good. 161 on that drum there. So drums need a little bit longer. I think these flats uh, are probably about done. So let's see what a flat is here. 185, yeah. So I'm just gonna put these flats I'm just going to lay them over here, let these drums kind of do their thing. Yeah, these drums still got a little ways to go, y'all. I mean, I, I temped that when it was 141 degrees, so be very careful. Um, and you can st still see a little bit, of, little bit of blood coming out of the, uh, it's actually marrow coming out of the bone. So you just want to make sure that's all good. Again, you want to take these pretty, you can take them pretty high. Let's close this down. I say another three, four minutes. We'll be in good business with those drums. Y'all don't go anywhere. Remember, second sauce, it's gonna be epic. All right, y'all, so it's been about five minutes total, okay? Uh, these drums, they're done now. Again, you wanna take your Insta-Read thermometer. You just wanna make sure you're getting, um, you know, good reading. So I'm at a, that's to the bone right there, 175 degrees. You want this about 180 degrees or so, uh, at least. I'm gonna put about eight of these. Four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four. Set these over here for right now. Now, we're gonna make another sauce. So we already made that buffalo sauce. So let's do a little clean up here. We'll make a little well right here. Got half a stick of butter right there. I got one, two, three, four cloves of garlic. Ugh. Yeah. All right, now, this is what we're gonna do. We're just gonna come in here, we're gonna toss our butter and our garlic with our wings. Just 
like this. Okay, Get them nice. Man, the smell is amazing. I got a little bit of Parmesan cheese. This is grated Parmesan cheese, okay? Got a little bit of parsley, chopped parsley. I sliced up just while we were waiting. Would you not crush that right there? We're just gonna toss these around until they're, uh, until the butter is kind of browned and it's kind of sticking to the, uh, to the coating. These are done. We're gonna get another bowl. We're gonna come in here. We got our garlic Parmesan wings, all right? Beautiful, boy, that smell good. Now, our buffalo sauce. We'll drizzle some of that. All right, let's. Yeah, boy. Nice and saucy. Whatever's are gonna be money. Those are going to be money. All right, y'all, hey, they're done. Let's give these dudes a try. Let's give it a try. I'm gonna try. I'm gonna try these garlic parmesans first without any kind of dressing. Mmm. Oh, man. Mm. First thing I get, Parmesan, then the garlic comes through. Mmm. Oh, my gosh. Those are amazing. Now, a little bit of ranch. Mmm. Mm-hmm. 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 I'll do it right there. Man. Let's try Sweet Baby Ray's. Mm. That classic buffalo wing sauce. Exterior is nice and crispy. Going into blue cheese for this. Mm-hmm. Skin's crispy. That blue cheese is good. What do you think about the chicken wings, honey? You know what? You can tell by my face. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all, chicken wings has its place on the Blackstone griddle. I'll guarantee it. People would love these no matter what. There's some good groceries right here. There's going to be a video here, video here for some more good groceries. Check them out.